Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Boom rolls out the long-awaited supersonic XB-1. And Airbus Corporate Jets launches the ACJ-220 BizJet. And finally, there's a shakeup. NASA Boeing confirms changes for Starliner crew flight tests. Thank you for joining us. I'm your new host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news, so let's start with some exciting news from Boom Supersonic. Boom rolls out the long-awaited supersonic XB-1. They have finally taken the wraps off its supersonic demonstrator XB-1, reportedly the first independently developed supersonic jet. To design and build the XB-1, Boom recruited a team of experts from around the industry, forged relationships with key suppliers, and built a strong safety culture. XB-1 is slated to fly for the first time in 2021 and will undergo a 100% carbon neutral flight test program. Boom's innovations include developing one of the highest efficiency civil supersonic engine intake ever tested, demonstrating Boom's ability to deliver a breakthrough in propulsive efficiency for the full-scale overture. According to Boom founder and CEO Blake Scholl, Boom continues to make progress towards our founding mission, making the world dramatically more accessible. After Wednesday's rollout, the XB-1 will complete its ongoing extensive ground test program before heading to Mojave, California in 2021 for a flight test. At the same time, the company will finalize Overture's propulsion system and conduct wind tunnel tests to validate the aircraft design. When XB-1 breaks the sound barrier in flight, Boom will be finalizing the design of Overture, whose own rollout is on track for 2025. After the break, Honeywell forecasts up to 7,300 new business jet deliveries, but it's not their original forecast numbers. I'll explain why after the break. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. We spent days flying and burning fuel and experiencing the new Swift fuel. I'm pretty dang impressed. I mean, to come out with a high octane replacement fuel with no lead, that's a tall order. If they continue to go the way they're going, Swift fuel will have a replacement fuel of the market. It's better for the environment. It's cleaner on your engine. That's game changer. Welcome back. With so much going on in the aviation industry, we're going to give you a quick rundown of some of the most interesting stories you don't want to miss in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. Honeywell forecasts BizJet usage will recover to 2019 levels by mid-2021. Honeywell's 29th Annual Global Business Aviation Outlook forecasts up to 7,300 new business jet deliveries worth about $235 billion from 2021 to 2030 down 4% in deliveries from the same 10-year forecast about a year ago. Despite the dip, four out of five business jet operators in the survey indicate that purchase plans have not been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Short-term reductions in both deliveries and expenditures due to the pandemic aren't expected to have a lasting impact on the business jet industry. Two pilots received the NBAA inaugural Airmanship Award. The award was created by the NBAA Safety Committee and is recognizing dual-engine flameout pilots Bruce Munier and Gerald Downs with its first ever NBAA Above and Beyond Airmanship Award. An ATP flight instructor and captain for AirTrek Inc. with over 4,000 hours, Monier was captain and pilot for the flight that experienced a dual engine flameout from diesel exhausted contamination. He worked with Downs, an ATP with more than 10,000 hours to dead stick the airplane's landing into the Savannah's Hilton Head International Airport. Because accidents do happen, Fortress UAV offers drone repair kits. 
Fortress UAV is now adding a drone repair kit to its available products. This will serve as an emergency option for drone operators who need a quick fix for maintenance while on site during a drone mission. The repair kits are the size of a typical small toolbox and include all the necessary quick fix parts and accessories to quickly get your drone back in the air. Now, what delivers unmatched power, safety, life, weight savings, and energy? The new Finoff Aviation Lithium-Ion Main Ship Battery Upgrade. True Blue Power announced Finoff Aviation Products has selected the company's TB44 Main Ship Battery for the Lithium-Ion Battery SDC Kit, available in Pilatus PC12, PC1245, and PC1247, single battery aircrafts. The amended to include a dual battery aircraft is currently in progress. Pat Finoff of Finoff Aviation Products says in a quote, We are especially impressed with the significant weight savings of 32 pounds over the lead acid battery, as well as the high and low temperature advantages, without having to remove the battery in cold soak conditions. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. If a normal sized BizJet just won't do it for you, check out what Airbus is doing. Airbus Corporate Jet has launched the ACJ220 business jet. While occupying the same parking space and being able to take off from the same airports as competing business jets, the ACJ220 reportedly offers three times more cabin space, yet with a third less operating cost. Airbus claims the A220 family is the quietest, cleanest, and most eco-friendly aircraft in its category, featuring a 50% reduced noise footprint compared to previous generation aircraft and up to 25% lower fuel burn. The ACJ220 cabin will offer two times better connectivity than its competitors, a Wi-Fi system across the cabin, and latest innovations such as the electrochromatic windows and LED lighting. The ACJ220 will have increased range enabling the aircraft to fly over 12 hours. And to put that into perspective, you can fly from LA to London without having to stop. After these messages, commander of a first piloted Starliner test flight steps down from the mission. We'll tell you who is taking his place after the break. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. A Boeing astronaut steps down from the Starliner crew flight test. Veteran NASA astronaut Barry Butch Wilmore will join astronauts Mike Fink and Nicole Mann for NASA's Boeing crew flight test. The inaugural crew flight of the CST-100 Starliner launching to the International Space Station in 2021. Boeing astronaut Chris Ferguson tweeted, I'm taking on a new mission, one that keeps my feet planted here firmly on Earth and prioritizes my most important crew my family. Wilmore will take the place of Boeing astronaut Ferguson on the flight test as part of the NASA's commercial crew program. Wilmore has been training side by side with the crew since being named the sole backup for all flight positions in July 2018. He now will shift his focus specifically to the aircraft commander's duty in preparation for the flight to the International Space Station. Well, that's our program for today. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday and Friday with Airborne Unmanned alternating with Airborne Flight Training each Wednesday. 
Now, if you want to reach out to us, send us an email at iro-news.net. Thank you for joining us today on this Friday, and we'll see you next week.